Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and as you know, Easter is coming up and I don't know why but I thought it'd be like, I had this like vision that I'm like, oh this one's floppy, I had this like massive vision that I'm like, I should do like this crazy look that's like pink eyes and like big bunny things, obviously I don't expect you guys to like recreate this for Easter because it is a bit extreme. Um, so I am videoing this for you, something fun, something different, um, I hope you like it so continue watching. <laughs> maybe if you want to create this, totally do it. I'd be so in for that. But please subscribe down below, comment, give it a thumbs up, and continue watching if you want to see how I did this crazy look. So as you guys can see, I have done my foundation and primed and concealed and powdered all my face and my eyebrows because I solely want to do this on the eyes and kind of the face thing is this is an extreme look and it does take a while to do the eyes. So I'll get straight into it. So first I'll be going in with my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette in the colour Burnout which is the second colour right there. On my big Morphe M433 brush. And I'm going to go in my crease all the way around to do like a big halo look. Quite close to the top of the eyebrow as well. So we only want a little space there, and I kind of want to make it quite a big, significant pink. So it's not going to be. So you want to really see the colour. And next, I am going to go in with Buzz, which is a very dark, gorgeous pink, and I'm going to go right over the top. Cause why not? And go back and forth and just build that gorgeous pink colour on top of each other. Now don't be too stressed if you get it on your lid seeing as this is going to be a cut crease. you will be covering up any problems that you have about. Now I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to go in with this gorgeous dark colour right here and I'm going to go on a smaller, shorter, thinner blending brush and that's going in the crease around the whole crease and just gradually blend it up but not too high so you want a nice dark color in your crease but you don't want it to completely cover all the other gorgeous colors and once again just go back in and just make it Obviously as dark or as light as you want. As I said before, don't overly stress about it being all clean and perfect on your lid because we will be covering up with concealer the lid to do a cut crease. So It's okay if you get a little messy on the lid. Now I'm just going to go in with my big fat blending brush and just blending all that together. Make sure there's no harsh sharp lines 
whatsoever. So next I'm going to go back in with the Urban Decay 3 Naked Palette and I'm going to go in with Buzz again. So you guys nearly knocked everything completely over and that would have been so shattering. On a flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going on outside corner of my eye. And bring it halfway in. Okay, now for the fun part. Next, I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm using my Mecca Max Life Proof Concealer. Um, and go in with a very clean flat brush. Just go in, get some, some, get some concealer on there. Don't obviously overpack it because you don't want to go on there and then find out you've got like this big chunk of concealer right in the middle of your eye. Because that doesn't look too good anyway. So I'm just going to get a close brush just so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just putting the concealer completely over the crease of your eye and it goes right to the crease so and go into roughly about middle where we put the buzz color now let's just go back and add more concealer now don't stress if you haven't done cut crease before they sometimes can be a little bit intimidating to do at first um, which I totally get um, you have to be quite precise about where you put them but do remember it is makeup if it goes wrong you can wipe it off and pretend like it never happened and then start it again so that's what's so amazing about makeup you can just practice and practice and if it doesn't work just wipe it off then it's like it never happened and then start all over again, try different things, try different techniques, see what works for you. Um, but obviously this step you don't have to do, you can just put like a light eyeshadow on it. But it doesn't give that strong, bold colour if you don't put the concealer underneath. And obviously it's one of those things you take your time with. If it takes you like... 20 minutes to do a cut crease that is totally fine just as long as you get it like perfect and precise it doesn't matter how long or quick it takes you uh, just have a go at it because you can do like amazing things with a cut crease now on top of my concealer I'm going on with the same brush um, and I'm going in with makeup Geeks Sorbet, which is a very light, beautiful pink colour. Going straight over the top of where I put the concealer. So I'm just patting it in first, just to get that colour completely... completely stuck to it so next is the fun part which I'm so excited to do I haven't done it <laughs> so let's see how we go <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M250-0 it is like minuscule it's like a really tiny thin brush and I'm going to go in with my current favourite thing at the moment, which is my Stila Glitter and Glow in the colour Starter. Uh, dust, Diamond Dust. So you're pretty much just going to follow the same line as your eyeliner, just right above the top.
So it does work. I'm just doing trial and error because I haven't actually done it before. Um, so it is good. If you can find a thinner brush, I would actually recommend a thinner brush just because, well, I did do a problem was actually just dunked it right into the pot and I got it all over the tip, which then when I applied it, brushed against my eyeliner. So I had to just touch up a little bit of my black. Um, so what I figured out is if you dip the actual brush that they have in it um, and then just get the product from there implied on, it's much easier. But this brush is good. If you can find a smaller brush, even better. But this one you, you can use, you just gotta be really precise about it. So obviously once again, if you got any any on your black eyeliner, you can just go in, touch it up and fix it. I just found the corner of my eye was a little bit difficult. A little bit difficult. So next for my under eyes, I'm going to go in with the MAC Cole Pencil in white. And I'm going to go straight under my eye. under my eyelashes all the way to the corner then I'm going to go with my Makeup Geek White Lies it's really white I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and go in underneath that on the white eyeliner And then I'm going to go back in with my liquid eyeliner in coal and put it underneath my eyes. So I will do my mascara and I will be back. So next I'm going to go in and highlight my eye, uh, brow bone and the corner of my eyes. And I'm going to go in with Jaclyn Hills palette. And I'm going to do the second one. Oh, right there. Gorgeous. And then of course just in the corner of my eyes. Okay, now for the rest of the face, um as usual, I'm going to go in with my, I'm going to do most of my face normally, so I'm going to go with my bronzer, my Too Faced bronzer, just to warm up my face a little bit. Now here is where I'm going to go a little bit different, seeing as it is store. 
I'm going to go in with my two base How Deep Is Your Love palette. And I'm going to go in with a big fat brush. And... Apply it to the apples of my cheeks. And to the end of my nose, seeing as it is an Easter bunny. Then on top of that, on my Morphe highlighter brush, I'm going to go in with my Ofra. And chuck that on my nose. And on my cheeks. And then, what is a bunny without his whiskers? So I'm going to go in with my highlighter again, my highlighter, my eyeliner again, make sure you don't have heaps of product on there, and I'm just going to go, one, two, three, one, two, now they don't have to be ridiculously even this one I did a slightly a little bit too further down but. and next and finally for lippy I'm gonna go in with a really gorgeous bright color I'm gonna go in with apocalypse from Remo this gorgeous bright pink color I can't find my mirror. Gorgeous bright pink colour. Okay, this lighting doesn't even do it justice. Like, it is so bright pink, it's ridiculous. And just because I'm that little bit extra, I'm going in with my Mecca Amazing Glitter Gloss that I'm obsessed with at the moment. And just chucking a bit of that on top. Just cause. And of course, going in with my All Night at Setting Spray. So this is my completed crazy look. So I do the whole bunny thing and everything. Sadly, I couldn't even find bunny ears. It was awful. I went searching through the whole house. But this is the look that I came up with. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy it. I had a great time even just thinking about it. It just like came to me and I was like, oh my god, I have to do this. Um, so I did try out some new things. Some worked, some didn't. And now I know what to do next and what I can change. Um, but I hope you guys do enjoy this big learning curve for me. And also going out of my comfort zone and doing something a little bit crazy. Which I absolutely loved doing. So you will see more of these like crazy looks. Um... But if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below, um, even just to say hey. Um, and please, 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 please subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Steffi and Muti. And I'll see you all my lovely beauties in my next video. Love you.